And we're back, and we're back with Monty Delaney, and uh, this is going to be a, a real treat for you, because uh, he's brought his guitar with him, and uh, that's uh, always a very pleasant distraction. <laughs> Monty is a fast folk recording artist. He's born and raised in the Bronx, remember that's the Bronx, a former New York City police officer, seven years in the 44th Precinct in the South Bronx. Uh, he served under Paul Newman as I recall. <laughs> um, he purchased his first guitar in Copenhagen, Denmark, with the proceeds that he uh, acquired in a card game, uh, dealing from the bottom again, we're in Jim Monty. And um, he was playing Gin Rummy, not the obvious game that on, on this one. Uh, he's been featured at a number of coffee houses, uh, especially when he brought his own coffee. Uh, up, yeah. Uptown Sometimes Coffee yeah. House, <laughs> Tree Star. Uh, he was in the Marine Corps, so don't fool with him. That's my job. Um, he's the father of three, Matt, Jackie, and Brian, although not necessarily in that order. In that order. Oh, all right. Good. Uh, he, just, he just got his law degree from St. John's University, so he's gone from police officer to lawyer. That means he's worked both sides of the law. And now I'm teaching school now. That's teaching school. So there's a third side to the law, and he's the founder of the South Sound Coffee House in New Rochelle, mm -hmm. which is... Uh, on US-1 just before you run out of New Rochelle. On the beautiful campus of Salesian High School. I can never remember the name of that place. All right. Uh, let's see. Fast folk uh, recording artist, huh? Yes. Uh, how fast can you play? Pretty fast. Pretty, Pretty fast. fast. Yeah. All right. Well, let's, uh, let's put it to the test, shall we? Uh, what would your first song be tonight? Uh, the first song I want to do is a, is a song called Walking in the Light. I've walked against the lights a number of yeah, times. Yeah. Uh, I, I heard some fellow talking about uh, the fact that he thought that there was a truth and it was objective. Uh -huh. I didn't particularly agree that that his truth was was my truth, so I, I decided to try and write something about, you know. You got up in court and yelled, I objective. Well, yeah. My <laughs> idea of the truth. So All right. This is, this is what came out. Play that thing, man. <laughs> Thank you. 
Clarissa, want to go for a walk? <laughs> in the light, definitely. Uh, I'm sure Monty will draw up some walking papers for us, <laughs> as a matter of fact. Um, what inspires you? Different things. Uh, this was a comment made by somebody. Mm -hmm. This particular song came from yeah. a comment that this guy was talking about his uh, idea of the truth, and, mm -hmm. and his truth was uh, uh, a fascist truth, you know. And I, I thought, you know, there's another truth. Mm -hmm. and I think that uh, uh, I wanted to encapsulate what my idea was, of the truth was in a song, uh, and I did that. Different well, things. Well, you know the old saying, there are three sides to every story, yours, mine, and the truth. Right. Mm -hmm. If we can only find it. Um, so, you forgot your first guitar in 1976. Yeah. How long did it take you to get good? Well, I, I brought it back on the ship, and, and the other Marines were like throwing boots at me, you know. Got that out, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and I met some guy from uh, a guy named... From boot uh, camp? You know. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I met a guy that I was in boot camp with, a guy, ah. uh, uh, Frank Scott, who just happened to be on the same ship, and uh, he taught me a couple of chords. And uh, ah. by the time I got back to the United States, uh, four or five months later, I'd already written about 15, 20 songs. I, and with I've three chords? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I've written about 300 and something songs now. I've got copyright on. Ah. Uh -huh. yeah. Well, let's get to another one then. I understand, uh, I understand you were going to do a song about somebody with a very special kind of problem. Oh, well, I, I know this, this wonderful person who happens to be a, a hypochondriac. Ah. And, uh... Anybody I know? No, nah, I don't think you know her. Actually, but, everybody uh, I know, but that's... <laughs> I think you know somebody like her. Uh, <laughs> you might know several people like her. Uh-huh. Uh, uh, this is a, I heard the story about this woman who went and had a pimple uh, scraped and biopsied. A simple pimple. And, and that rhymes. You're a poet. You should do something with that. Let me make a note. And I, and I thought, and I thought that uh, this was so ridiculous it requires a song. I would be remiss in my responsibility Play to song the song. Right. And you're going to have to help me out with this. Uh -huh. you know, okay. Which way did you come in? Your, 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 your part's going to go like this. Yeah. She goes to the doctor and Les comes back. Kathy Cooper, Apple Cunt. I think I can handle that. You gotta try it once, right? She goes to the doctor and Les comes back. Kathy Cooper, Apple Cunt. Oh, you're natural. No pepper. <laughs> she goes to the doctor every day. Parts 
song. He goes to the doctor and Les comes back. A Kathy Cooper hypochondriac. Yeah, finish. She goes to the doctor and Les comes back. Kathy Cooper hypochondriac. <laughs> Thank you, Monty Delaney. You're welcome. I'm going to slip a little something of my own in now. <laughs> Uh, about my day job on sharpening pencils. Fewer carpentry jobs are less demanding than sharpening pencils. Even sanding toothpicks down to optimal trim requires sounder judgment and steadier limbs. But sharpening pencils is my dream assignment. I insert each utensil and upon my vow a few quick cranks and I take my bow because my sharpener blades are in perfect alignment. Yet, there's one little detail that strictly hard knocks. The sharpener shavings collect in my socks. <laughs> and you thought your job was tough. Mm. Anyway, I want to take this opportunity now to thank my guests, Monty Delaney and Larissa Schmilo and the Loyal Order of the Moose, Richmond Hill Lodge, number 14. And until next time, this is Robert Dunn for Poet to Poet saying, Bon voyage. Mm.